Let us look at analytics options that are available. Double click on sales, double click on state, and then also sort the data. I'm also going to convert this into average and then select these two outliers and then exclude them. Excellent. Now we can go to the analytics option on the left side. We can drag the constant line and that allows us to see a constant line. We can drag the constant line once again and then create as many as we want. Let us undo this. We can also select the average line and do the same thing. The average of course is calculated automatically. In certain cases, we might also want to choose a distribution band which allows us to see all the values between, let us say, 40 and 80% of average sales. looks excellent. Let us cancel this. If I choose order date sales and then convert this into a line and then also break it down into my quarter, we can now go to analytics and now we have this additional option called forecasting available. If we drag forecast, it automatically creates a forecast for us where we have the actual and the estimate. By hovering our mouse, it also gives us an idea of what is the sales that is forecasted. We can right click and then click on forecast options. And then we have several options available here. I will leave it up to you to experiment with these. If you want to understand more, you can click on the learn more button. Let us also create a scatter plot. So double click on sales, double click on profit. Now you notice that by default, the profit and the sales amount have been aggregated together. What we want to do here is to click on analysis and then make sure that the aggregate measures has been ticked off. So we see a list of every single possible value. On analytics, if we drag cluster, you notice we can choose the number of clusters. For example, if I choose five, this allows me to create five clusters of my data set. This is excellent because on data, you notice that the clusters option can now be simply dragged. Oh, please excuse me. The clusters option can be dragged Or perhaps when I close this, we can press control. Please excuse me. So we press control, select clusters, and then drag it into dimensions. And that is excellent because now we get a profit and sales cluster. What that means is that when I create a new sheet where we have shipping more than sales, we can also now select profit and sales clusters and then put it in columns. To use the auto-generated clusters that were created earlier. 